Hello friends, I am Dr. Paras Patel, practicing as diabetologist in Paladi, Ahmedabad. And together with me, I have my friend Dr. Nitesh Patel. He is also practicing as diabetologist in Satellite and Akbar Nagar area of Ahmedabad. So today we are in this academic feast of uh, Diacare Conference 2023, and we'll be discussing few things regarding newer agents and older ones also. So, yes, sir. So you are asking about uh, newer agents or older agents? So sulfonylurea. Sulfonylurea, yeah. Okay. yeah. So sulfonylurea, particularly, uh, we have a lot of sulfonylureas nowadays in prescription. We are yes, using yes. right glycoside, gilbenclamide previously, and glipizide. But more of uh, we are using glimepiride and glycoside. And to be very much precise, for me, I am mm. using glycoside much more. Okay. Ninety so percent of prescription mine is glycoside. Glycoside. Uh, okay. In a monotherapy, dual therapy, or in a combination with metformin, pyoglitazone, or glucosin. So. Okay. Yes. So the reason why I am using glycoside is uh, 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 looking at the advanced trial results from the advanced trial, and my personal experience is also okay. very good for glycoside. It can be used as a short term therapy as well as long term because it is available you know it is available as a 40 mg as a shorter duration shorter. and it's extended release extended release different pharmaceutical companies it is available so you can use as a uh, truly once in a day once or in a day. twice in a day and uh, it's a robust reduction in terms of hb1c and as compared to glimepiride what i had noticed is relatively safe in terms of hypoglycemia and uh, uh, regarding microvascular complications, complications like nephropathy, it is relatively safe. safe yeah. Even in patients with CKD, you can prescribe short acting short acting glycoside. Yes. it has its own limitation Very because right. of its longer half. Longer. longer. Uh, cardiovascular protection already is uh, uh, well known. Well known with uh, glycoside. Yes. yes. And overall, the uh, this uh, side effect profile, if we consider, then also it is much safe and patient friendly. Yeah. So yeah. So I haven't uh, put any patient once we start on glycoside for some reason we need to withdraw. There is no some reason or like any patient complaining of vomiting or pancreatitis or GI discomfort, so nausea, so nothing. No so it is no side effect. effect. Yeah. Side effect profile of DPP for any Yes. Yes. Like uh, pancreatitis. Pancreatitis and. and uh, 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 nausea, anorexia, and, and all those things. Yes, yes, yes. yes. and uh, we, what I have seen that weight gain associated with the sulfonylurea, but it is not too much. So uh, that is not a matter of concern. Compare, uh, glycoside versus glimepiride or glycoside versus uh, other agents like insulin or glitazone. Glitazone. It is relatively neutral. Yes, yes, yes. And nowadays uh, we have uh, other molecules also which are available at cheaper rate in the form of DPP-4 inhibitors and SGLT-2 inhibitors. So mostly the patient will be on two or three medications for the diabetes control. So uh, generally weight gain will not be noticed with sulfonylurea. So if you combine all yes. these molecules except glitazone or insulin, if you combine mm. SGLT-2 receptor inhibitor, DPP-4 inhibitor with metformin Metform. and on the top of that you are prescribing sulfonylurea, sulfonylurea particularly yes. glycoside, glycoside yeah. you may not notice any weight gain. In fact, uh, uh, patient will lose weight. Patient lose weight because of, of uh, effect of SGLT2. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, uh, gener so there is no other uh, disclaimer required as far as the prescribing SU is concerned because there is no uh, other. Hypoglycemia itself is a risk for sulfonylurea, but uh, that requires an experience. Experience, yes, yes, yes. Unless you use it, you will not experience. Yes, yes. So we can start glycoside with 30 milligram. And then gradually, as for the tolerance, if there is no hypoglycemia, we can gradually increase. So, how is the way you uh, prescribe uh, this sulfonylurea, in particular glycoside in your patient? So, if you are asking about changing from glimepiride to glycoside, yeah, one milligram is equivalent to thirty milligram, 30 milligram. or forty milligram. Yes, depends upon the situation where you are. Many a cases we have used this glycoside. Whenever patient is having postprandial hyperglycemia, much more than fasting hyperglycemia, so we use short acting glycoside with combination with metformin. When requirement of fasting control is uh, higher, both the levels are higher. higher. At that time, 
लॉन्ग एक्टिंग लॉन्ग एक्सटेंड रिलीज फॉर्मूलेबल बट यस ग्लेमेपराइड टू ग्लिकलेसाइड वन मिलीग्राम इज थर्टी फोर्टी थर्टी फोर्टी टू इज ग्राम इज सिक्सटी एटी सिक्सटी और एटी बट यू कैन गो अप टू वन ट्वेंटी मिलीग्राम वन ट्वेंटी मिलीग्राम ओके एस पर द टेक्स बुक वी कैन गो टू वन ट्वेंटी मिलीग्राम सिक्सटी मिलीग्राम ट्वाइस इन डेट इज वन ट्वेंटी मिलीग्राम डेट इज वन ट्वेंटी फोर्टी मिलीग्राम थ्री टाइम्स डेट इज नाइनटी मिलीग्राम वन ट्वेंटी मिलीग्राम यस 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 even in fact uh, short acting molecule 80 mg formula you, are, you can prescribe three times so 240 mg 240 mg up to 240 we can go yes 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 so overall the experience with the su experience is good is, uh, and reclass uh, at particular particularly is very good and uh, uh, cost which we have to uh, keep in mind while prescribing the drugs in indian yeah. scenario that is also important and that is cheaper so we don't have problem with the cost as well yeah. so cost and side effect profile both are in favor of the patient so we can easily prescribe and click yes, yes. aside so we should uh, end our talk yes we, so. we should end our talk yeah okay thank you very, thank you very much kindly yes thank you so much yeah Thank you.